Hello guys, welcome back to another episode on the channel. We are just after leaving Sarah, who's turned to Crystal, and now... I think Lightning's going to go kill the Falsy, Snow is going to go plead with the Falsy to like turn her back from Crystal, and the poor kids, Vanille and Hope, are just along for the ride. With Saz so this is stuck here too. The Sarah's a crystal now. You gave her a focus, and she did it. You got what you want. Now let her go! So there's going to be a little pause here. It's because I died. <laughs> so that's why there's a little awkward Please. transition. Turn it's back. actually uh, seamless in a uh, thing. I'll be your Lucy instead! Fine. You go on begging, like this thing gives a damn what we want! Lightning! It's this thing's fault the purge started, and it's people who are dying. Sarah told us to save Cocoon. That means this thing needs to die! <laughs> I'm doing this for Sarah. Dodge. I'm in. As long as you don't mind an amateur. I got these things. Might as well use them. Thanks. But we're up against the Falsy Anima. He has two arms. And so our main goal is to attack the arms and then attack the core. Very simple. And you might say, how did you lose? And it's all about positioning. I just had slightly too little HP. And they were able to do a double AOE bomb attack and I just got wiped. Like Lightning only has 100 HP and I think the two attacks do 80 each, so, you know, it was 160 damage, it's pretty bad. But if you attack Anima while the other arms are in play, it'll do a counter attack. But, uh, like that, see? With the, with the hits back and then Snow and Saz are like attacking and I just learned my lessons. I was like, throw a potion, don't, don't be around 100 HP, it's too low. But the handy thing with Lightning is, when she does a little black backflip, you know, she kind of jumps back out of danger. And, uh, you know, Snow does a similar thing when he does his little jump back. But, uh, the difficult thing for Saz is, if he's kind of was the main attacker, you know, he doesn't really move with his guns, so if they get into melee with him, he's in trouble. But, as I say, going much better this go-round. But it was this, I ended up getting a big hit by the, the magic cone, and I died. Maybe it wasn't as bad as that, like maybe I just was really low, and I thought, oh, I'll just, I'll beat it before it explodes, and then it did. So anyway. With a bit more patience and a bit more healing with potions, we um, have... Anima done. 
And if I was braver, I would have just attacked Anima again. It would have, like, KO'd. But anyway, we'll just focus it down. But that's the boss fight. And after uh, Snow fittingly getting an ass punch in for his fiance, we five start, get a lovely accessory, the Doctor's Code. But then there's going to be some drama. One little bit of lore, it's interesting this scene has a big crystal because the characters develop crystal nodes to develop more power, so it's nice that the crystal motif was there from the beginning. But this is Anima. And this kind of mechanized, you know, organically mechanized crazy titan. As you saw, the brand of the pulse pulse or pulseless sea is now on Snow's arm. Some craziness. And just like that, the policy is going to explode with energy. So no one survived. And it falls into the water. And Flash freezes everything. Like, did this just become Frostpunk? What the hell? With that, we're going to get a lovely um, flashback cutscene with Snow and Sarah. And I'll chat to you guys once the cutscene's over. Making a wish? <laughs> Maybe I was. I was hoping that tomorrow I can tell my sister. Mm. She'll be so mad, knowing I hid it from her. Yeah, don't worry. I'll take the blame for you. You know, you should ask for something bigger. These are wish-granting fireworks, like in the stories. 
Stories, huh? We'll see who fulfill their focus. They become crystal and gain eternal life. <sighs> Would help if they gave you some clue about what you're supposed to do. <sighs> we'll figure this thing out. You will never be one of those monsters. <sighs> so what will I be? A crystal? Yesterday at the store, I, I got us something. We don't know much about jewelry, but I hope you like it. I will stand by you, no matter what happens. I'm yours forever. Sarah. My one, my only. Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> she said yes! <laughs> <laughs> I love these fireworks. They granted my wish. Your wish? Before I asked you to marry me, I wished that you would say yes. Then maybe they'll grant mine, too. What's that? To have the courage to tell Lightning that I've become a lassie. Hey, our engagement is way bigger news. <laughs> Man, I can't wait to see her face. <laughs> She'll be my new sister. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Snow. Sarah! So they awake on the crystallized floor of the lake. It looks yes. stunning. Like, it's really pretty. Like, the graphics for this game cannot be, like, understated. It looks amazing, you know what I mean?
But everyone is now able to see. We can see Saz has his on his chest, kind of poking out from under his uh, well, I guess we his undershirt. Right and the lake turned to crystal. Help me out here. I mean, did the foul sea do this? How in the world did we end up here? How should I know? Uh, we're alive. How? Sarah. No one survives a fall from that high. Not without a miracle. Sarah saved us. Sarah, listen. It's all your fault. She got... Uh, hey, 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 hey! Watch out! Why did I... Still... You used magic. Uh, uh. You use the power of the sea. The foul sea cursed us. We'll see now. Right. Lightning gives zero fucks. She's just like the psychology of that, like just the radical acceptance. Amazing. But here we have the bread and butter of this system. So each character has a role, and then the combination of those roles become a paradigm. You're able to switch your paradigm sets by hitting the tab key, and you can then design different jobs across the different characters. And whatever job they're in, the AI, you know, companions will behave differently, as well as you, the main character, having different actions. At the moment, um, it's basically saying that they've taken damage, so the sentinel will aggro enemies to attack it, the medic will heal any damaged enemy, and just because you have cure in your arsenal, Camille won't use cure unless she's in the medic paradigm, she only has access to her offensive spells in the ravager. Um, Paradigm, basically. And so, with the aid of magic and like enhanced strength and durability, our heroes now being Lassie so we really are could Lassie. fight those seats much, much better. Uh, looks like it. You too? Yep. Right here. Okay. Lassie to the last. Why me? I don't even know you! Will you have to go and attack that thing? Just leave me alone! It's your fault. It's your fault, so you can see Hope has his on his wrist. You could've. All of this is your and Sarah's fault! Watch it! <sighs> And this is where everyone goes, he's such a crybaby. This is a very, very stressful situation. He is overwhelmed, Sorry. and I don't think any of us wouldn't be. Everything is going to be all right. You'll see. <clears throat> Come on. Off we go. But yeah, we got a new trophy. The end, or achievement. Instruments of Tragedy. See, uh, completed chapter two. Team okay, if we don't know our focus, how do we complete it? Uh, I think I saw it. So what? That is how a focus comes down, people. The foul sea, they don't spell it out with clear-cut instructions. All you get is a hazy glimpse. Mm hmm Well, you know, that's what they say. You know, legends and all. You know, the legends. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see anything? I, uh... I just... It's all kind of foggy, but 
I saw this big, I mean, towering. What, what? Wait a minute. Hold on now. Do we all have the same dream? Ragnarok. On the purpose of, like, giving instructions, the files here are awful. So, we all saw the same dream. We all heard that same voice. Mm -hmm. You mean that was our focus? But how are we supposed to know what to do from that? Mm -hmm. That's the tricky part. The dream's the only hint the Falsi gives us. Figuring out what to do with it, that's our job. Okay, okay. We're pulselessy, right? Enemies are cocoon. So, does that mean that our focus is... Are we supposed to... Save her. Say what? Our focus is to protect cocoon. Really? Okay, and why's that? Vanilla's ready for violence. <laughs> She's like, Let's do uh, it. why should we save something? We're all in this you know, together. Blow it up. I'm gonna look for Sarah. She ought to be nearby. Uh, I'll come too. But yeah, like, are they meant Wait. to save Cocoon by defeating that monster? Yeah, that boy can't stay still. Unclear. But in terms of giving instructions, the fallacy are awful. Like, how are you meant to, like, give people a job and then, like, be so cryptic in what they're meant to do, you know? But here we have a tutorial on the Crystarium. It's not overly complicated. The Sea have different roles, the different characters have different roles. So, Lightning has the Commando and the Ravenger role. You can choose which role you want to develop. You spend the CP you gain in battle to move along the grid. And when you have enough points, you unlock the stat node or the ability crystal. And you can basically choose a direction. And in general, I'm always going to try and pick up the like stuff on the outskirts. Unless specifically there's stuff to be got. But lightning we've done. Snow has the ability to be a sentinel. So that's a unique ability to him. So we're going to level that up. And then we're going to move over to Ravenger. Or Commando. And we're going to just get our stat ups here. So 70 more HP and 18 more strength. For Vanille, she is a Ravenger and a Medic, so a pure mage for attack and support. So we're going to try and get Water next. We've got strength ups. With Saz, he's only a Ravenger, but he has way more crystals than everyone else. So that's interesting. And then we finally have Hope. He is a pure mage as well with this role synergist that is unique to him. So we'll move that along, but that's for like applying buffs and, and spell casting to support the party. We need to find a way out of here. But it's else. a grand system. What's interesting more so about it is that the Crystarium is hard locked to only have certain upgrades depending on the time of the story you're at. So Unlike the sphere grid where you could grind, 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 grind and get loads of stats and be overpowered, this game balances itself by not allowing you to get to a certain level of stats beyond upgrading your equipment and whatnot. So, it's pretty good. Some people mightn't like it, but I thought it was a pretty, pretty good uh, addition. Bam! Now, to give you guys a little tip on what the different roles do and how it relates to Stagger. Because now that we have other options like magic and spells, the Stagger system works totally different. So, commandos don't, don't give much bonus to the Stagger meter going up, but it slows its a bit speed at which it decreases. The Ravengers apply a high level of stagger bonus but cause the stagger bar to empty very very quickly and so that's where you need a mixture of ravengers and commandos in order to build it up quickly but have the commando then attack to like have it be slowed down as well and we also have this tp bar 
underneath um, our HP for lightning. And we're able to use the Libra skill to gain information in our data log about the different enemies. And it'll show things like weaknesses. And then once it's in the logbook, the AI for the AI companions will attack uh, better, basically. If it's in the logbook, this enemy is weak That's to fire. The auto battle will prioritize fire as well as your AI allies will prioritize fire. So you're gonna, and there's also a trophy relating to it. Now you don't strictly speak, you have to use Libra because if you fight them enough times, you will eventually learn all their different weaknesses and stuff. But the main thing is, yeah, you're able to uh, use Libra to get them immediately. So for things like bosses, it's really good to just throw up a Libra, know what their weaknesses are, and then be able to do the max sort of damage, you know? And the absolute athletics and acrobatics on Lightning. She got all the moves. <laughs> this just might work. And once again, nice, you know, listening, listening out for the the hum is so so important for getting our bits of money and our bits of un unlockables. <laughs> we fight it, Ragnarok. That's the reason we're Lassie. To stop it. To keep Cocoon safe. Yeah, why don't you give us one reason to believe that? One reason, Sarah. <laughs> she said to protect Cocoon. And then she turned to Crystal. That's the proof right there. She completed her focus. That means ours is to save Cocoon. Sarah's foul sea was the same as ours. Our focus has got to be the same. We were chosen to be guardians, to defeat Ragnarok. It makes sense. What the hell it does? You're grasping at straws, son. Post Falci are Cocoon's enemies. We just got recruited by one of them. <sighs> if I were a betting man, I'd put us on the other side. So Sarah's an enemy too? Well, I don't buy it. We have the power to save Cocoon if we work together and carry out Lucas, our focus. The Falci took Sarah from us, and you want to help it? So, whose side are you on? Freeze! Uh oh. <gasps> Place your hands behind your heads. <sighs> you fall off the purge train? Maybe. Are you talking back to me? Huh? Huh? Nice gun. Bam! So what this is showing you is that, okay, you're in a crowd situation, you might want to use Blitz and something else. But because they're humans, they're super weak to magic. And we're going to just try and get a Libra off. Because again, we're trying to fill up our data log with all the information. And five stars, baby. I thought they'd be tougher than that. This guy's a psychom, yeah? Supposed to be cream of the crop. Yeah, but psychom's an anti-pulse task force. They haven't fought a war in centuries. Bunch of rookie troops swinging around overpriced toys. So, from what you're telling me, sounds like a regular old soldier it's got more training than special forces. Nothing for us to see to be afraid of. Cut the crap. Their grunts might be green, but Psycom's elites are cold-blooded beasts. They hit the field and it's game over. So, let's make with Vanille. Uh-oh. Then let's run away. Ciao! Wait. But yeah, hey, wait. let's pick it up next time. We got cool new magic and great new upgrades, and we're going to keep going on our adventure.
Have a good one, guys.